Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, August the 5th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Satellite image this morning uh, shows uh, primarily clear skies across the area. Uh, however, surface reports indicating a little bit of fog, especially across the southern half of the state of Alabama. On the surface map, the big feature for our weather over the next several days is this large high pressure nosing in from the Atlantic, something we refer to often as the Bermuda High. Uh, the upper air pattern, we're finally getting rid of that uh, little trough that's been over the lower Mississippi River Valley. There's still a small closed center there uh, in the vicinity of uh, the Arkansas-Louisiana border, uh, but uh, it's uh, basically being uh, weakened by the uh, upper ridge pushing in from the Atlantic as well. Temperatures this morning starting out the day around the 70 degree mark. A few spots dipping into the upper 60s, uh, but humidity levels staying right there. Watch warning map is not too uh, busy this morning. We still have uh, some uh, heat watches and heat uh, warnings over the southwestern U.S., those uh, red and burgundy areas, the gray areas in California, central California, and up into parts of uh, Oregon there uh, are... Um, uh, dense fog advisories as we see a few along the Great Lakes and up into northern Maine. And <clears throat> QPF wise, <clears throat> excuse me, we're looking at uh, over the northern half of the state of Alabama on the order of about a half to one inch of rain. And I think that will come primarily uh, in the late Wednesday into early Friday time frame. The HPC excessive rainfall outlook includes a slight risk over parts of uh, northern Iowa surrounded by marginal risk that extends back into Wyoming. And the SPC has uh, a slight risk area for severe storms that stretches from uh, the central Great Lakes area uh, back to the west-southwest across parts of Iowa and Nebraska into Wyoming. And um, both of those basically ahead of a frontal system and an upper uh, trough. The uh, day two outlook includes a marginal risk all the way from Maine across the eastern Great Lakes down into uh, the northeastern corner of New Mexico. And uh, on day three, uh, the marginal risk drops down into the Ohio River Valley. And the tropics still remain relatively quiet. We do have an area of disturbed weather that could be uh, slowly gaining some uh, subtropical or uh, tropical characteristics over the next several days. You can see, though, that it's uh, projected to remain well out to sea. All right, the 06 GFS model run this morning. Here comes the 594 contour, and there comes the upper ridge. That's going to produce some warm days, looking for highs today and Monday in the lower 90s. And I think convection basically is going to be fairly uh, isolated. Uh, there's a look at the HRR, and I call that pretty isolated. Monday, 594 in place across Georgia and Alabama, and uh, we still see the possibility of uh, isolated showers and thunderstorms. And once again, I think Monday is going to be a rather warm day, probably around 93 or 94 for most locations. The trough moving across uh, the Great Lakes region is beginning to dampen the ridge on Tuesday in pre preparation for some changes. And on Wednesday, we see that the trough actually digs down into the middle Mississippi River Valley. Uh, from a uh, position over the eastern Great Lakes down into uh, the area near Memphis. Uh, but once again, uh, the, across much of the southeastern U.S., uh, ahead of that weak front, we could be seeing a little bit better in the way of convection, especially across the northern third of the state of Alabama on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we see that trough dragging down into the area. That drags the front down into central Alabama. And I think Thursday is probably going to be the day that uh, most of us are likely to see some rain. And there's the precipitable water values. And certainly when you start getting up uh, at and slightly above two inches, that is a pretty good indicator. Uh, the, the overall trough position over the uh, eastern U.S. remains there on Friday. 
Uh, and so once again, the front is the main focus. I think much of the moisture will be pushed to the south, but uh, still Friday we could see some uh, a little bit more in the way of numerous showers and thunderstorms. Depends on exactly the position. Saturday, the trough uh, is along the eastern uh, coast of the United States, basically about the eastern third, as the upper ridge bulges up into the upper Midwest, uh, and that keeps uh, a little bit drier air coming into the Tennessee River Valley. So Saturday, probably uh, Tennessee River Valley, nothing in the way of showers, but from uh, central Alabama down to the Gulf Coast, a uh, possibility of showers and the better chance along the Gulf Coast. And then Sunday, we see the closed low over the eastern Great Lakes, uh, helping to keep the ridge back over the western Great Lakes. And that trough keeps us pretty much unsettled, but pushes the moisture down. So I think actually uh, if this uh, verifies, we should see no showers uh, across the northern, oh, about the northern half of uh, Alabama on Sunday. Going out into voodoo country, and uh, we see that the GFS uh, still keeps a bit of uh, troughiness with a couple of little short waves, one over Pennsylvania and New York there, and then one over uh, Wisconsin. Uh, at uh, This is the 14th of August, but by the uh, 16th of August, we have a ridge over the uh, Florida Peninsula and over the southwestern Atlantic. But by the time we reach out, to the 18th of August, we're beginning to show, you know, kind of the ridge building across the southeastern U.S. All, all the way over to the southwest U.S. But by the time we get to the end of the period, around 372 hours, yep, there comes our trough, our broad trough over the eastern part of the country. And that's keeping us out of this tremendous heat for summer. And I'm all for that. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, James Spann will be back from his vacation first thing on Monday morning. So he'll have the next Weather Extreme video. Hope that you have a great day and Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models. So give us a call today to get a free, no hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.